Hey guys, Steve here. Well, I've got another video for you today, and it's a, something to do with a dot trailer. We were away camping there for about three weeks, and we were remote camping some of the time, so we were relying on our showers and uh, our portable toilets and things like that. And one of the things I had trouble with was my Julka hot water system. So I'm going to do a video of what I've changed and why I've changed it. Um, what I've got is uh, a little uh, solar shower, plastic bucket, 12 volt submersible pump um, that I bought, all cheap products. And um, we'll so we'll get into it in a sec and I'll get that intro out of the way and uh, then we'll come back and I'll tell you all about it. Cheers. <music> Hey guys, welcome back. Well, like I was saying there before the intro, um, my video today is about my hot water system that I have in my trailer. Now, I've had this in here uh, ever since I bought the trailer. I did have one in my old um, little uh, teardrop trailer as well. And um, I've always had a sort of love-hate relationship with this system. Um, it, when it's working, it's fantastic. Like, it's a great system. Um, I've actually got two of these. Um, this one here is actually a replacement, uh, one that I bought, got off um, J. Kohler because I had trouble with my first system, just not heating up properly, um, couldn't get it to work, couldn't get it to run properly. So I um, rung them up and uh, they sent me a new one out. They're really good about it. Um, like they have their merits if you've got a lot of water storage. But the thing I find the most problematic with it is more the fact you have so much trouble in getting it to heat up to the right temperature uh, when you want to use it and um, it just bugs the hell out of me. Like you, you waste like 10 or 15 litres of water before you even get the hot water from uh, the tanks out of the trailer into the pump and down to the um, Julka hot water system and then you've got to fiddle around with the knobs all the time because they never seem to work the same twice. Um, no matter what you set them on, you turn turn yeah. these little twists. So you've always got to fiddle with these. You know, you've got to turn this up or down, adjust your water usage. And for some unknown reason, if you have the water turned up too high and this turned up too high, the pump on the trailer starts struggling. It sort of cuts in and out. I've tried to address it with uh, changing more airflow on that, you know, sucking out of the tanks, all sorts of things like that. But it still seems to be a problem all the time. Never works right twice. So... Now that's one of the reasons I've got to I want to change it. Um, like I said, this is a replacement model that I um, got. It just stays in the shed now, and I've got another one that came with the trailer. Um, it has the same problems. Um, you have trouble with it. You know, you've got to fiddle with these all the time. The water temperature seems to go up to like 48 degrees and nearly scalds you, or it goes down to that cold you're jumping around, especially in winter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I bought a solar shower. Um, I'm going to fill it up with water and I'm going to put it outside there and how we showered while we were away was um, by boiling up some water in the black plastic bucket that I have over here. I'll just grab it. So we've got this collapsible bucket. We boiled up uh, like a, just a billy full of water and we filled this up to roughly halfway with cold water, poured the Billy of hot water, boiling hot water in the top, and that seemed to be a perfect temperature. And then we dropped the submersible pump into the bucket, um, plug it into a 12 volt socket, cigarette lighter socket, switch it on, and you got perfect running hot water. And you barely, you normally when you have your shower, like you wet yourself down, scrub yourself up, um, get yourself washed, then wash yourself off again. And by the end of it, you normally still got you know a quarter of a bucket left in here. So then the next person, while they're showering, you've boiled up more water, put a bit more cold water, put some more warm water in it, and away you go again. You've got two showers done, and all you've used is basically two buckets of water like that out of your tanks, whereas the other system, you use that much water just getting it hot, and then you have your shower, and you seem to waste more water when you're using that because you, because it's if you do get it right, you stand there and you shower away, you're rub yourself around and all that sort of thing and you waste more water. This is more an economical in water. We had, um, we got two 80 litre tanks on this trailer. We filled them up before we left. We went to Trinity Island first. Um, we did use the showers that they had there but we were using the water tank 
for our cooking, our um, drinking, because it's we put rainwater in it. And um, when we when we were there, for, we were there for seven days. We'd used up one tank, and uh, that was with washing up and uh, drinking and all that sort of thing. So we filled the back tank back up again with the water they had there, and we drove to our next destination, which had no showers. So we were relying on all the water we had there. So two 80 litre tanks, 160 litres of water. That week there, we showered, um, most showered every night using this system. We didn't use the J Cola because I turned it on the first night, couldn't get it to go. So I had the 12 volt shower in there, so I, I just used it. We used this system. Um, I had a 25 litre jerry can of rainwater as well. So we used that for our drinking water and all we used the water out of the tank was for washing up and boiling to put in the shower. By the end of that week, uh, we'd emptied one tank and we just started on the second one. We were camping in our next spot for four days and uh, we still used this system because we had no showers or anything again. Um, I did buy a 15 litre um, thing of drinking water again because we'd used most of the drinking water up and we used that for drinking. We used the water in the tank just for showering in for four days. Um, at the end of the four days, I turned the valve open on the tank and I reckon it was still half full. So three weeks, um, three tanks, three 40, 80 litre tanks of water. Well, not three tanks, I reckon two and a half. And uh, we lasted three weeks, two people, showers every night, washing up and uh, some drinking water out of it. So I'll show you how what I'm gonna do now and show you how it all works. And uh, we'll get into that now. So I've got to grab the uh, solar shower. I'll fill that up with water. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit it over on the ground in the sun. So I'll set my stopwatch um, and start it up as soon as I put it in the sun. We'll see how long that takes to heat up. Uh, it's 10.38 in the morning. Um, you could probably put, we'll see how long that takes. So it'll give you some idea, you know, when you've got to put your solar shower out in the sun to get it warm. So you want to have a shower at, I don't know, 4.30 before the sun goes down, five o'clock, something like that. So that's what we were doing before it got too cold at night because it was getting cool where we were camping and nothing worse than sort of you strip down, put the water on you and then you turn the water off and you're freezing. So we'll get all that done and then I might um, go through the J-Cola and show you how that all starts up and I'll run all the water into this bucket and see how much water we use just getting it all heated up and dialed into the right temperatures. Cheers. One other thing I should mention before I grab the solar one is that um, I mentioned there before we used the bucket boiling it up. Um, that's what we did do. Uh, we come up with this idea with the solar on the drive home. We thought, what's a better way of heating the water up? And we thought, why not just get a solar shower? Um, obviously, it's not going to work when it's uh, not sunny, but we can just go back to heating our water up over the fire because that's how we normally were doing it late, late in the afternoon. We'd light our fire, we'd just put a billy of water on the fire, or you can use gas. Um, if you can't have a fire. So there's multiple options on how we can heat our water up, but I want to try the solar option and that's what I'm going to concentrate on today too, just showing you I'm not going to be boiling it up, the water up on a billy, I'm just going to be using the solar shower. So we'll get into that now, eh? And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions about this video, um, just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. But uh, we'll get into that solar shower now, eh? Jeez. I'll just put it on the ground there, so we'll leave it there. I'll come out and check it, fill the cold water straight out of the tap. I'll check it, um, we'll see how long it takes, eh? And then I'll, um, we'll go and show you the J-Cola. I'll show you how this works in the little 12 volt bucket as well. Cheers. Okay guys, I've got to put some water back in my uh, water tank. Don't want to run all the hose out here, but uh, the way I normally do it, if I've got a 20 litre jerry can, Sit that up there, put a siphon hose in it, take the top off the uh, and just put it in there and let it run away. Cheers. Okay guys, we've um, filled the water tank up, so I've siphoned some more water into my tank. I put two of those jerry cans, so that should be roughly about 40 litres, 80 litre tank. So if I press this button, and you can see there the front tank is half full. So that's uh, two green lights are sort of sitting on the halfway mark. So that's what I expected um, it to be half full, uh, half of 80 is 40. So we'll get in and we'll go around to the J. Cola now and we'll test that out. Cheers.
Okay guys, we're at the J. Kyler. So this is the one that come with the camper. Um, it's all hooked up on the inside there. So you've got your hot water there. You've got your cold water there. Um, that runs up underneath here. I've got a gas fitting here. So all we've got to do is get the gas bottle out when you want to use it, hook it up, turn the gas on, make sure your pump's turned on. And then it's a matter of turning the water on. So you, I normally, what I do first is come around here and get this all set up. So we'll turn the water on. You can see it's lighting up. It's 27 degrees there. It's trying to light up. So you've got to fiddle around with this water control and wait till you get it to get to uh, some sort of temperature. Now it's sitting at 31 degrees. So I've got to turn the heat up a little bit more. 32. That's sort of just sort of lukewarm, 34. 35, it's still sort of, it's only just warm, we'll turn it up a bit more, we'll turn the flow down a fraction, that'll get it a bit hotter, 36, let's turn that water flow down a little bit more, turn the heat up a fraction, 37, We've got the heat nearly turned all the way up. We've got to turn the water down a bit. I mean, that's 37 degrees it's sitting at. We'll turn that water down a fraction more. 38. I find you've got to get the water down a bit lower. Now it's going up to 40, you can see. That's a good temperature, like that, that's a good shower temperature that, so about 40, 41 degrees. Now it does sit at that temperature, hopefully now, um, as long as you don't bump it. It depends on whether you turn this on to a different uh, pressure. We'll just see what it sits at. So it's sitting at 40 degrees. Okay, you can see down there in the bucket, my little bucket is full, and that's only with starting the Jacola up. Um, this is one of the problems I have with it. Now if I wanted to run the water to the hot tap at the back of the trailer, which it can do, I have the same problem. You've got to sit there, turn the tap on, hopefully this kicks in, run around here, fiddle around with the guides, yell out to the person in the back there, yep the water's hot and you've wasted half your water trying to get water to the back end. This is the problem with this. We don't really use the hot water down there anymore because of that reason. Um, we just use it for cold, but this is one of the reasons. So you can see in there, um, I think this is like a, I'm not sure, if I'll have to pour it out, it's probably a 10 or 15 litre bucket. So I've got probably 10 litres, we'll say 10 litres. I've got 10 litres of water sitting in there, I haven't even had a shower yet. Um, my wife hasn't had a shower, so unless you get right in there right now and have a shower, the water will go cold again, so you've got to wait for it to heat up for that fraction, like 30 seconds, it'll heat up, and then you have your shower. You probably, between the two of you, I reckon you'd waste another bucket and maybe a bucket and a half of water. So you've used two and a half buckets of water out of your 80 litres in one, one night. So this is one of the reasons why I'm changing it. So I'm going to do the other test now on the um, solar shower. Um, now, just remember, I can heat the water up in a billy if I want to, or on um, a fire. And all I do, like I said, three quarters of a bucket of water in here, pour the billy of water in there, and away you go. That's it. Okay, guys, I'm going to um, run some water into this little pail. This is the hot water. I'm going to put that in first because I want to check the temperature of it. Just put the hand under there. So that's, um, it's not overly hot. It's just a real good warm temperature. Now, I've had this bag out in the sun for about oh, four and a half hours. Now, if you were gonna shower, you could probably shower just with the water straight out of here. So this would work um, as just having, a, like putting all, filling this right up with water out of this and showering straight from here. I think it's probably, if you put cold water in here, it's probably gonna make it too cold. You probably have to heat it up. But plenty hot enough, I can tell you. That water is like pretty warm 
hasn't been overly hot here today. It's only been like 23 degrees and I've had to move it around in the sun, chase the sun a little bit. Get this tap in the right position so we get faster water flow. And I'm going to put half in this. I'm going to check the temperature. Okay guys, I've had to, like I said, um, you would have just seen me filling the bucket up. I've had it in there in the sun for about four and a half hours. It hasn't been overly hot here today. I'm just going to put this um, temperature probe in there and just see what it comes up to. So, it's actually quite surprising. It's going up. So that is 40 degrees. So, 41 actually. Just dropped down a little bit because I've taken it away, but it was showing 41. It's cooling down pretty quick, but it was showing 41 degrees. I'll just put it in there again. I might grab my phone and take a photo of it so I can put it up on the screen. So that's quite surprising. So if you had a reasonably hot day, that water would be pretty hot. So it's the same temperature as what the J. Cola was saying. So 41 degrees. Uh, just by sitting out in the sun in the solar, so that's really good. Going to grab my black bucket now, put some cold water in it, and um, then put the rest of this hot water in there. Cheers. Okay, guys, um, I've got my cold water in the black bucket. Now I filled it halfway, so this is a 10 litre bucket. I checked it out. Um, so I've put about five litres of water in there. I've probably got a bit over a litre of water of hot water in this one. So I'm going to pour that into there. And that's just filled it up to about three quarters. So I'll just mix that around a bit. Now that's just lukewarm. Um, like I said, if you wanted to get a little, um, like boil up some water in a jet boil or on your campfire, you can do that. And um, just get it to the right temperature. Just got to find all my fittings here. Okay, I've got all the fittings. So like I was saying there before, you can boil up some water either on a campfire or um, over a gas stove or something like that in a billy um, and then just pour that into there and then that gets it really nice and warm. It gets it up around that 40 degrees. Um, it has cooled down a little bit just with that shower water but you could put more shower water in there. So this is um, the submersible pump there you can see. Now what I've done is this was the um, cord that come with it. It's horrible. It's got this little switch here that you push in and out for maximum and minimum and water leaks out of there it was only cheap i had to wrap black tape around there to stop the fitting from leaking so that's gone i cut it off so throw that one away that one's going in the bin now i had a spare j cole or julka keep calling it j cole it's julka hose um, so i cut the end off it and i've attached to the pump fitting as you can see there so it's just attached there it's probably got two meters a bit over two meters of cord so all you got to do is insert your pump into the bucket now i'm just going to try and hold this normally i have this on the ground or hanging up and when you're in the shower you lay this little switch here on the ground near your foot just under the tent and you get your big toe you press the button the pump turns on and the water comes out. So you can see there, it's working exactly the same as the Julka. I can put it on the lowest setting and um, plenty of water coming out. You have a nice shower, so that should be long enough for what I've been talking to lather you, wet yourself all down. Switch it off. You switch the uh, switch off because it keeps running. Lather yourself all up, get yourself all nice and clean. Then once you've done that, switch it back on again with your toe, turn it back on again and rinse yourself off. So you can see instantly that I haven't wasted any of the water from getting the hot water system. It's come straight out of the tap really quick. Um, I think it's a better system. You may like having the convenience of the other one, but I'd be all rinsed off by now and I could turn that off dry off, get out of the shower, and there's still this much water. So there's still a quarter of a bucket there, it's still warm, so all you gotta do is add some more hot water to it, the next person can have the shower. You've used one and a half buckets less water to start off with, which means you can camp longer, 
stay out there um, and not have to worry about finding more water. Obviously if you're near a freshwater creek or whatever it's no problem at all. Keep filling the bucket up to your heart's content, uh, heating the water up on the fire, keep pouring it in there and stand in the shower for as long as you want. That's why I'm getting rid of my um, Zulka and going to this system. So I'll just turn that off, it was still running. So that's why I'm going with this in this direction. Now my cupboard where my um, Zulka was, that's going to be for all this stuff to hang in now and also all our toiletry stuff. So not only have I got rid of that, I've made some more room in my trailer. It's a heaps better system. Um, if you have any questions, um, don't forget to uh, leave a message in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, I'll try and put a link down to all these products. I think I bought this at BCF. Um, the bucket, I got a feeling I actually bought that at Aldi's when they had a camping sale on, but you can pick these plastic buckets up anywhere. Um, just want to, with this, um, they, they do have a better one there. It was about 60 something dollars. Um, you might be better getting it. I think it had a better shower head on it. But these pumps, um, you can get them at Bunnings. You can buy the pump on its own, wire it up if you want to. They already have a 12 volt cord in them. All you got to do is wire it up, stick a bit of a hose on it. You could probably buy all these parts at Bunnings if you wanted to make it up yourself. You just have to compare prices. I, I'm pretty sure though that I bought this little pump and the cord from um, BCF. So I think they're about $35 for memory, don't quote me on that. And um, it's a much viable option. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.